Overview to function normally, your body requires a delicate balance of electrolytes, including potassium. Potassium is an essential electrolyte for normal nerve and muscle function, including your heart. Too much potassium in the blood can cause the heart to beat irregularly and can sometimes result in death. A high potassium level in the bloodstream is known as hyperkalemia. Although hyperkalemia can affect anyone, there are some people who are more at risk for developing the condition. Risk factors for hyperkalemia include some medical conditions certain medications diet here's everything you should know about the causes behind this condition. Medical conditions The kidneys work to maintain the body's ideal balance for potassium and other electrolytes. The risk of unbalanced electrolytes increases when the kidneys aren't working properly. That means that those with underlying kidney conditions are at a higher risk of developing hyperkalemia. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is the most common cause of hyperkalemia. The rate of hyperkalemia in people with CKD has been reported to be as high as 73% trusted source. Other medical conditions can increase your risk, including congestive heart failure diabetes Addison's disease, which is when your body doesn't produce enough hormones high blood pressure less common medical causes of hyperkalemia include burns that cover large areas of the body or severe injurious retained infections, such as HIV tumor cell and muscle damage due to alcoholism or heavy drug use receiving treatment and managing medical conditions such as diabetes can reduce your risk of hyperkalemia. If high potassium levels persist, your health care provider may recommend treatments like diuretics or potassium binders. Medications Certain medications can contribute to the development of hyperkalemia. Medications that treat blood pressure-related conditions are the most common culprits. Medications that can lead to high potassium include angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs potassium-sparing diuretics, such as spironolactone, amylaride, and triamterenobeta blockers nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs such as aspirin, and ibuprofen calcin iron inhibitors potassium-based salt substitutes potassium dietary supplement sheparin, a blood thinner antibiotics such as trimethoprim and pentamidine non-prescription drugs and supplements can also increase the likelihood of increased blood potassium. This includes supplements such as milkweed siberian ginseng hawthorn berries noni juicy alfalfa dandelion horsetail nettle in general, people with Kidney disease who are already at risk of developing hyperkalemia should refrain from taking herbal supplements. Talk to your health care provider before taking any new medications or supplements. If a medication you take for heart disease or high blood pressure is causing hyperkalemia, your health care provider will decide best next steps. This may include stopping the medication or adjusting the dose. It's important to follow your health care provider's recommendations and have regular checkups to monitor your potassium levels. Diet Your diet can contribute to your risk of developing hyperkalemia. Adjusting your diet by consuming low potassium foods or avoiding certain foods that are high in potassium may help. Your health care provider may ask about your diet and suggest limiting or avoiding certain foods. A dietitian can also help you come up with a plan. Eating too little potassium can be just as harmful, so it's important to find a healthy balance that works for you. A few examples of foods that are high in potassium include vegetables, including avocados, potatoes, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, pumpkin, cooked spinach, and more fruits, such as oranges, bananas, nectarines, kiwi, cantaloupe, honeydew, prunes, and raisins or other dried fruit. Other foods, including chocolate, nuts, seeds, peanut butter, milk, yogurt, and bran products. On the other hand, foods that are low in potassium are vegetables, including asparagus, cabbage, cauliflower, cucumber, eggplant, iceberg lettuce, onions, and radishes. Fruits like apples, berries, blueberries, cranberries, raspberries, strawberries, grapes, pineapple, 
plums, watermelon, and more other foods, such as rice, noodles, pasta, bread that isn't whole grain, yellow cake, and cookies that don't include nuts or chocolate. Be mindful that even though these foods are lower in potassium, you may still need to limit the size of your portions. Almost every food has some potassium in it, so the serving size is important to consider. You can also remove some of the potassium in foods like potatoes and carrots by leaching them. To do this, you need to soak the peeled and sliced veggies in water for at least 2 hours. Boiling the vegetables can also pull out some of the potassium content. Takeaway hyperkalemia can lead to serious heart problems if left untreated. If you're at a higher risk of developing high potassium, there are ways you can reduce your risk. It's important to consult your healthcare provider to discuss your medications, diet, and medical conditions. Doing so will make sure you're on the right path to reducing your hyperkalemia risk factors.